everybody. So right now, I think we are in week number four almost. What do you think, babe? Are we Sounds like good. So he's behind the camera. So Sean is actually shooting today. He's playing the part of cameraman and construction. Um, but I wanted to show you a quick recap of where we're at visually. So it, we're in the kitchen right now and um, all the appliances, which is really only a fridge and a double wall oven, and these old cabinets came down in preparation for this partition coming down in the future with the ceiling. Come this way. Dining room, not much to see. Again, in preparation of taking down the ceiling portion. We have submitted the plans to the township. We restructured what the um, ceiling will look like with all of the truss system and whatnot. Uh, thank you again, Theodora. Boyaris. I'm gonna really mess up that name forever, but she's an amazing architect and we've been working with her on the ceiling portion So I can't wait to show you that when we get there, but the dining room right now is as is But as you can see this has changed a little bit Which is the separation between the dining room and the living room and if we come in here um, We've taken down all the sheetrock from these two closets that open up into the hallway this is all gonna be opened up once we get this ceiling down. Um, there hasn't been much as far as the family slash living room goes. We've just in this area taken down the sheetrock that again is the partition, which is the staircase going downstairs. So we're waiting right now for um, our approval to be able to do this portion with the ceiling. And once we do, all of this gets um, taken out. This has all been taken out from the closet area. A little quick peek. <laughs> uh, the bathroom is super dark right now, but right now Sean and his guys have gutted out the whole bathroom. And this is another um, project that we're gonna tackle before we move in. So this doorway will be closed like we talked about last time, and the bathroom will be, now have an entrance into the master bedroom. You wanna say anything about the doorbell bit? Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is actually a vintage doorbell. It's still hanging. It's still hanging. Wait, there's another portion I want to show you is still hanging. This is when you don't have walls. Come over here real quick. We have to make, this is the, what's left of this wall, just so we can have our heater set up. And we're at 65. Yesterday we lost heat for a while. So now that we have heat, that's pretty cool. Um, so this is the most change that I just wanted to show you. These were the three bedrooms, which were kind of reformatting and free mangling, re -mangling. And so um, we've taken out the partitions for now and we're working out where the layout goes. So come on in. So this was, <laughs> this was bedroom technically, bedroom one, two, and three. Right now it's one big bedroom. <laughs> this, is, this is all gonna be our master suite, babe. <laughs> big. I know, it's huge. So this is, we showed you on the last episode, this is where a Jack and Jill will go in the future. It's not gonna go there now. <clears throat> this is going to be this room here, bedroom number one. Separation with Jack and Jill, but for now will be a little crevice um, space. Bedroom number two, which is our closet, babe. Not mine, ours. And then I wanted to show you the most exciting part that Sean and I are super excited about. This is our master bedroom, and look at the ceiling. We opened it up. Look at this. I love. So now we're going to have a soffit perimeter around the whole thing. We're going to have this vaulted in the center of the room. We are kind of on the fence on whether we're going to do a fan or a light. We're not sure. There's going to be two skylights pop right above here because where the roof line pitches there is a pitch right over the bed. Now, Sean and I have been going back and forth over this. Skylights in the back, skylights on the side, two versus one. I'm a two skylight girl. I don't like one singular skylight here because I feel like it looks like a weird eyeball. But come on in closer, babe. So just imagine, this is going to be our uber monster king bed. Sean would like a California king just because of the dogs. Nixie actually likes to like take up a lot of real estate. But this is the bed. And this is gonna be the nightstands. And then, I'm not sure what that all looks like. I'm thinking upholstered, we're not quite sure. Um, but I'm super excited about the ceiling. So we just opened this up, and now I think it's gonna be really sexy for us now. It's just like, even though it's not a huge room, you always think that when a room is not super large, let's just say, 
And this room isn't super large, but it's a decent size. Okay, it's a decent size space, but just by taking a little bit of the ceiling out, and it only gives us a couple of feet, the perception is that it's so much bigger. And what's great about that is that even though it's going to be great for us now to enjoy, down the line, whenever we go to sell this house, and again, I keep saying that, but we're not selling right away. It's just you want to think about these things. You don't want to make it so personalized that somebody else can't envision themselves living here. So when that does happen, this bedroom is going to feel much more important, like the master suite that it is meant to be. But for now, we are going to enjoy it. Woo! And that's it. That's today's walkthrough. I think it's our four-week mark, so we've gotten a lot done.